Since 2008, leaders from the world's largest and the fastest growing economies have met for the G20 Summit. CGTN headed to the International Exhibition Center in Osaka, venue for the 2019 Summit, for the inside story. The summit attracts not just world leaders and the global press corps, but an array of international experts who come to advise, observe and learn. Multilateral trading is not the only the entire picture of the global uh, issues. I think everybody has to discuss how exchange rate be determined. Are they market oriented? So there are uh, voices at both the uh, BRICS uh, and the uh, G20 that can really um, make a consensus in favor of an open, rules-based, multilateral trade system fit for the future. And the G20 is now about much more than just the economy. It's uh, broadened its agenda a great deal. In the beginning, there was a strong focus on the uh, hardcore economic subjects, macroeconomic policy through global growth, financial regulation, trade. Now, of course, it's expanded to uh, climate change, uh, to human health, to uh, digitalization, and to uh, aging population. Uh, a growing concern of uh, many in the world. We also tracked down some younger participants for their views on the relevance of the G20 agenda in 2019. This is my second G20 summit and my first was back in 2017 at the Hamburg summit. From the perspective of a young person working in the media, I think that this media center has been really considerate about the different needs of journalism work. I'm also a little bit disappointed to hear that recently the Japanese host has diluted its language on climate change because of pressure from the American delegation. So I'm hoping that there is still some language on climate change and protecting the environment because I think the G20's decision-making process on climate change affects many more populations and countries beyond the permanent membership of this institution. Host Japan displayed some of its newest innovations at the summit venue as part of its bid to promote a social application of technologies in achieving Society 5.0. The Japanese Foreign Minister visited the exhibition and was all smiles as he tried out the products on shop.